A screen is 1.5 meters from a set of double slits. The distance between the two slits is 0.07 millimeters. When a monochromatic light shines on the slits, the bright fringes on the screen are 1.2 centimeters apart. Find A, the wavelength of the light, B, how far from the center of the screen is the first dark fringe? The screen is 1.5 meters from the double slits. That means L is 1.5 meters. The distance between the two slits is D, 0 0.07 millimeters. And the, the bright fringes on the screen are 1.2 centimeters apart. The distance on a screen is the Y, 1.2 centimeters. And we're supposed to find the wavelength of the light. For double slit interference, we get uh, almost equal distance apart bright fringes on the screen. I'm just drawing the bright fringes. So all these fringes I draw, they are the bright ones. The center of the screen has a bright fringe, and that is the M equals to zero. So M equals to zero, that's the center fringe. And the center fringe is a bright one. And then this will be m equals to 1, 2, 3. Supposedly there's a m equals to negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And I just usually use 1, 2, 3 and not to bother with the negative numbers. The distance between the bright fringes will be this distance, which means it is the distance from the center of the screen to the m equals to 1 bright fringe the first order bright fringe. So I can use uh, d sine theta equals to m lambda and just use uh, m equals to 1. In that case, uh, the theta or the y we find will be corresponding to the m equals to 1, the first order fringe, which means uh, I will get the y from the first order fringe to the center of the screen, which would be the 1.2 centimeters because uh, all the fringes, they're supposed to be about equal distance apart. So that means uh, m equals to 1 would give us uh, y equals to 1.2 centimeters. Another equation we have is uh, tan theta equals to y over l. However, if the y is much smaller than l, then we can say sine theta is about y over l. Now this one is simpler to use, so if y is smaller than l, much smaller than l, then we can just use sine theta. So let's see, the y is 1.2 centimeters, the l is 1.5 meters, so the l is much bigger than y, therefore we can use sine theta, that's y over l. Therefore this equation will become d times y over l, we use y over l to replace the sine theta, equals to m lambda. So now let's plug the numbers in, and we need to be consistent with the units. So I'm just going to change all of the lengths to meters. So this d is 0.07 millimeters, so milli is 10 to the negative third. And then y is 1.2 centimeters, that means it's 0.012 meters. L is 1.5 meters. M is 1, and we're looking for the wavelength. So if we do this calculation, we'll find the wavelength to be 5.6 times 10 to the negative seventh meter. And this will be uh, some sort of yellow light. For part B, we're supposed to find the distance between the first dark fringe and the center of the screen. The first dark fringe is when m is half, one half. So let's see. The d sine theta equals to m lambda can be written as d times y over l equals to m lambda because we have small angles. y is much smaller than l. 
D L and the wavelengths stay the same. That means uh, Y is proportional to M. Now we're looking at the first dark fringe, which means M is one half. And uh, before we had M equals to one, so the order number changed uh, by a factor of one half. That means Y should change by the same factor. So Y used to be 1.2 centimeters. Now we have to multiply it by one half. So the distance on the screen between the first dark fringe and the center of the screen would be 0.6 centimeters. And that's the answer for part B.